It's been almost three months since the so-called Dhaka Spring, since the promises of a new Bangladesh. But this new Bangladesh is looking a lot like old East Pakistan. Sheikh Hasina's aides are on trial, Hindus are being targeted, they're being fired from their jobs, and they're marching on the streets for justice. What is Mohammed Yunus doing about all of this? Well, he's busy defending it. Yunus has said that these are not anti-Hindu attacks. These are anti-Hasina attacks. He says Hindus supported the previous regime of Sheikh Hasina, hence they're being targeted. And he is using the same logic against India. Sheikh Hasina's aides are set to appear in a in court next month. Hasina herself will be called up soon. When that happens, will Mohammed Yunus pick a fight with India or will he show some maturity? Our next report tells you. This was Chittagong on Friday. A sea of Hindu people swamped the streets in protest. Their demand? Equal rights to not be treated as second-class citizens. Hindus make up about 8% of Bangladesh's population. Under Sheikh Hasina, they prospered. She kept the radical Islamists at bay. But now, there's a target on their back. Local reports say direct attacks have subsided. Now, the tactics have changed. Hindus are being pressured to resign from their jobs, like Rontu Das, an assistant professor at Chittagong University. Radicals issued death threats to him. So Das has decided to step down. It's the same with police trainees. 252 sub-inspectors have been dismissed by the Yunus regime. Around 91 of them are Hindu. Many of them have alleged discrimination. Since the government isn't listening, they have hit the streets. The Hindu groups have eight demands. Among them is setting up a Ministry of Minority Affairs, enacting a Minority Protection Act, and declaring public holidays on Hindu festivals. But Yunus is unlikely to accept these demands. He doesn't see these attacks as religious. He sees them as political revenge. When you say minority community is being attacked, that minority community, particularly Hindu community, was associated with Sheikh Hasina. So you cannot distinguish whether they were attacked because they are followers of Sheikh Hasina or they were attacked because they are Hindu. The root cause is an obsession with the past. Radical elements are keen on erasing Bangladesh's liberation history. Sheikh Hasina used to crack down on them. So now they want revenge. And Yunus is playing along. Dhaka's International Crimes Tribunal is probing Hasina's regime. Ten of her ministers have been asked to appear by November 18th. Their charges? Crimes against humanity and genocide. Hasina too is on the tribunal's radar. She has been asked to appear next month. Of course, Hasina isn't in Bangladesh. She's staying in New Delhi under India's protection. Chances are that this will trigger a standoff. Yunus's ministers have already dropped hints. They have promised a strong protest if India does not extradite her. And Yunus isn't done yet. He visited Hasina's former residence today, the same one that was stormed by student protesters in August. The place is almost in ruins now. Abusive graffiti on the walls, bedrooms ransacked, and valuables stolen. Yunus wants to turn this building into a memorial, a reminder of Hasina's downfall. What drives this obsession with the past? This need to erase Hasina's legacy? Perhaps some old wounds? Hasina was no fan of Muhammad Yunus. She accused him of sucking blood from the poor. She even charged him in more than a hundred corruption cases. As a result, Yunus couldn't return to Bangladesh, not until Hasina had been toppled. Could those bitter memories be driving Yunus now? It's impossible to say, but one thing is clear. Yunus's actions are endangering a lot. Bangladesh's long-standing ties with India, its hard-fought secular identity, and the trust of its Hindu minority. First Post decodes the U.S. election. 
explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.